your mom and dad. Your mom and dad. Your mom and dad. Your mom and dad. Well, welcome home, family. It's your, your mom, mom and dad. dad baby. Ooh, baby. Hi. Morning, hi. <laughs> hi, family. Good morning. Good morning to all of you, family. I am feeling I'm feeling inspired. I'm feeling motivated. Mm. I was feeling like a little lazy in recent days, but I I struck upon, and I just want to share this off the top. I struck upon um, a moment of realization that I wanted to share with the family, mm. which is kind of an inspirational vibe to say, just be yourself. Whoa. Be yourself. Don't try to be someone that Groundbreaking you're not. Groundbreaking stuff yeah. over here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> There's a way I got Sign there. Sign up for okay? her course. <laughs> There's a way that She'll I be got doing there. the local arenas in your area. <laughs> <laughs> that is like straight up though that is like the current day and age of the reels and the tiktoks to be like i have some really powerful advice for you all be can, I, can I share something that'll blow your mind <laughs> like that whole thing. the thing about it is like we try to be other people but oh, like wow. the truth is like you are you and you are the only you that you can provide for this world so be you on a daily basis anyway that was, good. <laughs> that was pretty good thank you but i had this moment the other day where i was like you know what Sometimes in my life, a.k.a. most of the time in my life, I try to be this like I try to be this better version of me and have mm. this idea of like, Jess, you're so this way. You're so that way. Instead of just knowing who I truly am. Mm. And it dawned on me um, a few nights ago. So obviously we're in like our D&D fantasy. We're living our, our fantasy fantasy. Yes. Um, and so we've been watching a lot of those types of movies and Ember has been loving it. And so a few days ago we showed her the first Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring. Obviously, you know, definitely fast forwarded through some of the uh, scarier parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, the, the over, yeah. <laughs> but overall showed her the Fellowship of the Ring. And as the movie was ending, Ember looks up and she goes, who do you think I would be in this movie? And which character would you all be? And my initial reaction was, I remember seeing that movie when I was young and being like, Jess, you are such a an Arwen. You are Arwen. such an elf. You are such a Galadriel. <clears throat> and then it hit me. I'm like, bitch, you're a Sam. <laughs> I'm <laughs> Sam. I'm a hobbit. I'm okay? definitely a hobbit, man. We're, we're hobbits. Okay? I'm like, I want my first breakfast, my second breakfast. I just want to be in my little town and be cozy and eat and nothing yeah. spooky. I don't want to take on any big like undertaking <laughs> and like save the world, but I'm going to do my best and I try and I love my friends yes. and I'm a nice person. Yeah. And it hit me that I was like, this whole time in my life, I've like been like, you're sure. Arwen, you're Galadriel trying to be that. Yeah. But I'm a hobbit, baby. <laughs> so yeah. that's my inspo for all of you. <laughs> Just be yourself. If you're a hobbit, be a hobbit. Don't be like, I think I'm an Aragorn. I think I'm, you're right. you know, I'm no. a strider. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's the thing. Ember was right away like, I think I'm Legolas. I think dad's yeah. Aragorn. And before she could even say anything, I was like, I'm Samwise Gamgee. <laughs> right. And that's just who I am. Yeah. yeah it was and funny. that's my inspirational moment. I love for that. Today. I love that. It's like, because were they describing it too? Because like everyone else is like, son of Gondor, <laughs> heir to the king. Or they're like, you know, the wizards and the, they're fighting against the evil empire. And then they're like the hobbits. They like to drink. They <laughs> like eat. to hang out with their friends, eat 47 times a day and just kind of have me. a good time. It is funny how like the completely, it's like, that's most people. You know what I mean? There is like a level where it's like, excuse it's me. Like, no, don't. Sorry, know sorry. I'm, not, now I'm gonna, special. <laughs> let's not take that that's away. True, that's that's true. I'm not trying. I'm just like, you keep that special. Uh, you're like, that is special to That's me. special. That's unique. Second breakfast <laughs> is for me. Um, but no, I appreciate that message. You know? Because I think you can kind of have the you know, stock. I want to be this, you know, it's like, I want to be the the person in the poster. I want to be the superstar, like, or the special, like, whatever. Okay, so like someone, who are they really? You know what I mean? <laughs> are, are those people like even on the poster that you look up to like, Oh, they're, they're, they're Legolas. But like deep down, 
Legolas probably has a lot of insecurities and he's and he's putting up this this wall of perfection. Maybe. But reality is he just wants second breakfast and to have some drinks with his friends this in is the what Shire. I'm saying. I mean, that might you be the case, I mean? but at the end of the day, I just had to come to the realization that I'm like, listen, what would Legolas do? Legolas, after the recording of this episode, would be like, I'm going to go run 10 miles and I'm gonna then going to read seven books yes. and feed my mind and my body uh, and my uh, soul. He, well, yeah, yeah. He's big into optimization. Yeah, big <laughs> optimization guy. He's a guy. biohacker. And I'm like, after... <laughs> and oh, I'm that's like, how he lives forever. <laughs> yeah. That's how oh, it is. Shit. I'm like, and for me, after this podcast, I'm going to go, I'm going to just go straight into my bed eat cheese it's in bed for a while take a quick nap quick bath and then be like is it dinner time yet i mean yeah. that's more my energy i'm I like a hobbit it. so i'm not gonna try to be anything else or pretend to be anything else i like that i and appreciate that's who i that. am and Being so real. i just was struck by that and i was like i want to share that with the family like if you're a hobbit be a hobbit be a you hobbit. know what i mean like i'm no i'm no groundbreaking moving shaker of the universe yes, i'm are. just me and that's okay wow <laughs> you know I mean? That got really serious in like a beautiful way. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's all. See, that's what we need in church. You know, <clears throat> thank you so much. Back in the day, <laughs> they, they would back in the day when you go like youth group, the guy would pull up like Lord of the Rings in church and be like, God is Strider. You know what I mean? He would try to like relate, like Jesus Christ is just like Gandalf. Or he would they would do some shit like that. Yeah. And you need to be so brave, yeah. like Frodo. And I'm like, and I can't be Frodo. Exactly. Right? And like tr listen. <clears throat> The ring is like drinking with your friends, okay? You want to put it, you want to do it so bad, but you got to be strong, all right? You know what I mean? Jesus is Strider, and he's trying to tell you, don't do it, man. Instead of just be a hobbit. That would be a message people Back could get. Back at the Shire. <laughs> get Who never leaves the Shire. <laughs> We've passed out Cheez-Its for you all. Be a, today we're hobbits live the hobbit lifestyle be honest with yourself that's all i'm saying I so anyways that. that's my motivational speech today um speaking of that we, yes. i just want to say this we have heard some of you in the dms who are asking will there be another D, D episode and when i tell you when you send that message, it fills my heart with so much joy and happiness because you know we want another D and D episode so bad. Whether you want it or not, it's coming. It's gonna come. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, obviously, we're recapping The Bachelor, mm -hmm. and we're also recapping Love Is Blind. If you haven't watched that recap that we dropped um, on Friday, please do. Yep. We love doing our Love Is Blind recaps. We have another one coming on Friday. As soon as our, you know, our love is blind is done, then guess what? There's going to be some uh, some time for some more D and D Ooh. episodes. Okay, so they're coming. Oh, yeah. They're coming. Um, but today we aren't here for Love Is Blind. No. Friday we are. Friday we and are. I have a lot to say because I've caught up on all the episodes and I have a lot of opinions and I'm mad. I'm mad. Tune in for Friday for a pissed off Jess. <laughs> for an angry <laughs> Jess. She's an angry hobbit. She's mad, okay? Um, she <laughs> Someone make some AI art of Jess being an angry hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> Eating my noonsies or lunchies <laughs> or whatever. Um, but today we are here to discuss The Bachelor. Yes. And I am excited because... Our most favorite person, probably on the planet at this point, did get a one-on-one, -on -one, and I am thrilled to the tips of my toes. Got the best one-on-one. -on -one. Got the best one-on-one. -on -one. one that everyone hopes for. We're in the hometown of our King JP. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to discuss, yes. um, and uh, let's get into that. But first, let's take a quick pause. Yes. Let's take a quick pause. Um, family, you know, after watching this uh, recent Bachelor episode, all I could think of is that I wish that I could ship in the moment joey some anti-nausea medication i was Ooh. watching him spin around and i was like someone deliver this man some yes. anti-nausea medication okay i wanted to do that for him <laughs> speaking of shipping after the hype of the new year we all start to settle into our routines but for businesses who do a lot of mailing and shipping you've got to keep moving stamps.com streamlines all your mailing and shipping to turbocharge your operational efficiencies and the stamps.com app is like a post office in your pocket Pocket so you can stay on top of things, even if you're always on the go. Family, hear me when I tell you, Evan and I have been using stamps.com for personal and business shipping for like 
a decade at this point because it's just the best. It's just the best. Yeah. And obviously, it's not just us obsessed with Stamps.com. For 25 years, Stamps.com has been indispensable for over 1 million businesses, whether they're mailing out checks, invoices, legal documents, books, or anything else. Uh, Use Stamps.com to print postage wherever you do business. All you need is a computer and a printer. They even send you a free scale so you'll have everything you need to get started. And if you need a package pickup, you can easily schedule it through your Stamps.com dashboard. And here's the thing. Postage rates just increased again. Luckily, Stamps.com has the best discounts in the industry with rates you can't find anywhere else, like up to 89% off USPS and UPS. 89% off, okay? Plus, Stamps.com automatically tells you your cheapest and fastest shipping options so you don't have to navigate all the different carriers. And by the way, if you do sell products online, Stamps.com seamlessly connects with every major marketplace and shopping cart. They just make it as easy as possible. We love them. Keep your mailing and shipping moving at the speed of your business with stamps.com. Sign up with promo code MOMDAD for a special offer that includes a four week trial plus free shipping and a free digital scale. No long term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter code MOMDAD. MOMDAD from your mother and father. Okay, just. Should we just get into it? Yes. Let's just get into it. Joey. We, Joey, Joey, Joey. We are officially in Montreal. We are in JP, Jesse Palmer's home. We are reminded right off the top, by the way, that Jesse Palmer can indeed speak some gorgeous French. Yeah. It, the issue is that. Don't I, you say anything negative no, about JP. JP <laughs> is everything you want to be. He's incredibly handsome. He's. He's well spoken. He's charming. He's got teeth for days. Like I love him, <laughs> but the only thing that guy is not is is like a French speaker. Like he is technically, but <clears throat> when I think about French people, I just think of like people like the the fact that he's like from there and yeah, like yeah, speaks yeah. French. It seems wild to me. Like he just doesn't seem like a suave French vibe. He's very like football player energy so when sure. he when he, when he, he speaks doesn't give off like fr- artist vibes that's what i'm saying yeah, 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 and yeah, everyone yeah. who speaks french i think that you should not be allowed to speak Fran- Fran- france you should not be allowed to speak french unless you have like a vibe to you know what i mean that's a crazy thing to say <laughs> something i just think it should that's be an the, insane, that's an insane statement I think everyone you should turn be. off this podcast immediately <laughs> <laughs> it's a crazy thing to say. i think you should have a vibe check i think in order to learn the language they should do a vibe check on you <laughs> And he's just too, you know, it just doesn't, it doesn't, they're, 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 they're opposing energies. You know what I mean? They're opposing. I understand it, but guess what? Jay Palmer, I swear to God, it's part of his contract. He hits me as a guy that's like learned it to like pick up chicks. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like that's the energy. Whenever he speaks and speaks in French, I'm like, he's been working on this for a long time. Cause he's like, watch this. And like, he, you know, uses it. Picked up chicks just made my whole body quiver. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, but the reason why I said it like that is because he's the type, but he looks like the guy that would say that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, but impressive. It's more of a jealousy, I think, more than anything at this point. Yeah, I think you're just honestly like, very threatened by Jesse Palmer. I think I, I, like I am, too. It's kind of like save some cool stuff for the rest of us. Because like, you always... On top of the looks and the vibe and the personality and the everything, you then also speak French. I just feel like French. you're like, very like, threatened by him. I think, and, like, I, I think you just really need to come to terms with that idea. But I do actually uh, think it's right. part of his contract. I feel like at this point, it's part of his contract that once a season, he gets to speak French. And remind everybody like how oh so sexy he is by like busting out like the gorgeous French because so far since he's been our host it's happened once once a season. That's true. It has happened once a season, and not only that, I also have a theory that this is the first of many times we will be going to Montreal Mm. officially because I believe he will be adding that to his contract because him being in Montreal was essentially. The parade of Jesse Palmer. Yeah, there is this <laughs> like, there is this big like wait till you guys all come to my hometown. I'll show you the best time of your life energy. Well, and you it's know? absolutely Montreal is go- gorgeous. Right. Like like please let me move there. But when we get there, Jesse Palmer is like, Hey everybody, we're gonna go on a scavenger hunt. And it's not just like a scavenger your typical scavenger yeah. hunt. Part of it includes going to a restaurant where when they get there, the chef goes, oh, it's Jesse Palmer's favorite restaurant. And there's a photo framed of Jesse behind him. And so I'm like, I think Jesse Palmer is a local.
local celebrity in Montreal. Mm. And this is like, he's like, hey, everybody, remember how famous I am. <laughs> Okay, like yeah. you're in my hometown now. Remember how famous I am? I know you look at me as like the host. Yeah, but I'm like, a lot more than you. You, you know, <laughs> he's big in Montreal. You know, he's big huge in Montreal. in Montreal. I mean, there's a frame photo. He's got his favorite haunts, and he's having them go to those spots. Okay, the sa the scavenger hunt wasn't screaming like we're going to different historical places in Montreal. It was like yeah. a tour of Jesse's favorite places. Yeah, just something to think. About. Yeah, or that was just a storefront they rented, and he gave one of his friends an apron and just said hey come on in and they just put some ingredients there and he's just like make it kind of look like you know i'm like a local literally here. how dare you this is, all, <laughs> this is his favorite spot i'm also convinced that every stop that they made on that scavenger hunt for the group date when they went to they saw the couple playing chess they were doing the cultish dance and there yeah. were uh, people standing by i believe everyone that they bumped into was actually a member of jesse palmer's family and it's like family, yeah. he was like that's my aunt and uncle playing chess and he's like you guys just, just be here play normal we're doing shoot day on on tuesday be there yeah. be there by 11 a.m sharp we're gonna get you know the camera crew in and just you know be playing chess. Right, like, i exactly. think it was his family i love that That's i love for that sure. i mean listen having your picture in a restaurant I mean, that's Life bucket goals. list bucket. I mean, I don't care even for what it's for. It's just epic. You know what I mean? Like, it's just it's life to goals. walk into a restaurant you like and see your picture on the wall with your signature next to like Conan O'Brien or something, you know? <laughs> yeah. Sick. <laughs> It's Legendary. life goals. It really, really it is. is. Life goals. <laughs> and he did it. And like I said, I am convinced. Just don't be surprised, family, if next season of The Bachelorette, they end up back in Montreal. Okay. Like I'm it's just, just saying a staple at this point. It's going to be part of his contract. Yeah. It starts with him speaking French. It moves to just visiting Montreal. And soon we're just going to be going straight to his childhood home. Mm. That's what I think. And I would love it. I would love it, Jesse. But anyway, Jesse's clearly extremely happy to yes. be in Montreal. Um, but Joey is struggling Joey we yeah. start off seeing Joey very very sad this episode he does the thing which again I've said this multiple times where he cries right at you yeah which is just incredibly disarming yeah to like not kind of just give it give me one of these like the head over the face or sorry like the hand over the face like cry where it's kind of like I just you know he'll just cry right in your face he does the direct and it's cry. very jarring you're like oh my god he's really going through it he's got the like the quivering lip you know what I mean? Like he's really giving it to you. Like this, I'm honest with my feelings. I'm honest with my insecurities right now. I'm honest with everything that's hitting. I will say kind of, it really leveled up my appreciation for him. Okay. Uh, that type of vulnerability yeah. right in front of the camera like that. That's just, I don't know. It's a pretty secure person with just like, listen, I am going through this and here it is. I, I completely agree. I felt like, he, I mean, we we definitely knew that these were his insecurities going into the season, and he talked about it a little bit on charity season. But when he was saying that his his struggle is that he feels like he needs to be perfect, but mm. he knows deep down he's not because, hey, guess what? You're human. Yeah. But he feels nervous that if he doesn't, then he isn't that perfect version of himself yeah. constantly that he won't be loved. And I feel like that, I don't know that, that just like that hit me whenever he talks about it, it hits me hard. Cause I feel like that is such like a, a deep seated thing for so many of us. Mm. Um, that's hard to, to communicate, but he does a really good job. I don't know. It feels like he's done a lot of self work in my opinion. It looks <clears throat> like he's done a lot of like internal investigation. I agree. I completely agree. Um, the perfection thing was interesting. They're like, people expect me to be perfect and I'm not. That was interesting. Mm -hmm. One thing that I'm kind of feeling is coming to my brain a little bit is, is there some level where he's creating like a self-fulfilling prophecy where he keeps talking about his number one fear yeah. is that he will invest in someone and they'll leave him. Yeah. And then we're starting to see this happen a little bit. And I'm kind of going like, is this a level where it's like you're manifesting this? Because you, you keep focusing on it and that's your number one fear. Yeah. And then we because we haven't seen that as much for leads to be like my biggest fear is that someone's going to leave me. Yeah, because you know what I, mean? <laughs> our, I feel like some of our past lead, male leads are just like, of course they want to be with Zach. It's just like everybody wants <laughs> yeah, to this, be this with me. This might be our me. first lead with empathy. No, um, but like <laughs> everyone yeah, wants to be with the bachelor. Wants to be, yeah, and if they don't, and if they leave me, that's because they have a problem. Yeah, you know exactly. what I mean? Like, but I just wonder if it's like you know when someone's so in their head about something, it's like it seems like he's really getting in his head, yeah. which is like I don't know. I just feel like generally. You're seeing this, we're fighting for this person. Yeah. But I'm starting to feel like the 
tables are turning where he's overthinking things and he's saying, I really needed this when he's on the date with Marie. Like he's starting to kind of go like, I am struggling. Yeah. And it's, and I will say this a little on the early side. Yeah, I guess generally you're kind of like hometowns. You're really starting. We saw, we saw, you know, Gary start to lose it kind of during hometown. But yeah. like, we're two episodes away from that. And he's starting to really struggle. Yeah, no, I agree with you. I feel like there definitely might be a, a self-fulfilling prophecy part of it where maybe if you're putting that nervous energy out, that, yeah. that might to make that might start to make people question in that way. But at the same time, I do have to say, I I don't want Joey to be sad. No. But I do find it so refreshing. To have to see one of these uh these guys, these leads, yes. be like, oh, I have so many amazing women. What if I do something to mess this up and they leave me? I do appreciate that energy a little it's bit. It's nice to My- meet a stunningly hot guy who's very cool and a good person who doesn't who kind of has that doesn't know it energy. But like really? Like for you know real? Who actually doesn't know yeah. it. He kind of is like amazing in that way where he's kind of he could go through the world with a lot more, yeah. you know, arrogance. And he does. He has the goods for it. And he doesn't. He operates very humble. No. Like he's very concerned with people leaving him. And he's also very concerned with breaking people's hearts. Yeah. He was struggling. And he was struggling this episode until Maria, really. Um, but he was struggling with all of those emotions and those feelings. And uh, I looked at you and I was like, man. The hot guy tears and vulnerability should be a porn category. Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. Because he should I start just, OnlyFans where he just sells his tears his and he tears. just cries into the yeah. camera. Yeah, I agree. Like you, you know, how some people sell bath the water. <laughs> he just sells Joey's his tears. tears. Yeah, 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 yeah. From the season, so oh, they're wow. even more valuable. Well, there's that, but then also too, you get like a live Twitch stream type thing where he just cries directly into the camera oh. and then sells those tears as so it feels like it is for you. Yeah. kind of. I don't know. I feel like you. Get a lot of you get some serious cash there. Joe. I like this idea. We're, I don't know. Just, just we'll help you with that. <laughs> just processing that for you. <laughs> but he just any- watches <laughs> sad videos and just cries and just oh. has like these collection points where they just sit here like these little troughs. And then he, he no, drips just them into depressing into, videos on. Oh just, no, it's just like on, the shelter dog. Yeah, no, just literally like the saddest, like the saddest <laughs> scenes of every movie on no, repeat. And you're so just like. <laughs> Epic. It's an idea. It's an I idea. think it's a fabulous idea. Well, he uh, he is though. He he's he's having a rough time, yeah. and so you can see that. So they start their time in Montreal with this group date that Joey mm. or that excuse me that Jesse Palmer has created that he's so excited Very about. Excited. And I have to tell you, the energy in this date was really depressing. Like Joey was sad, and all the women were tripping out. They were like, yeah. "We're all together now. All of us have serious feelings for him." And the women who don't have, who haven't gotten um, a one-on-one at this point are obviously yeah. spiraling. And the other women who have gotten a one-on-one are like, well, I think I'm falling in love with him. And now I have to spend this time in groups. Everyone was tight. Everyone was uncomfortable. Yeah. And that had to make Jesse Palmer so upset. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's kind of like-, like when you plan a trip and no one's enjoying it that much or talking about how legendary <laughs> it is. Or like, if you're like, hey, I bought us a bunch of uh, drinks and everyone's like, no, you know what? I'm not going to drink tonight. And you're like, what? <laughs> You know what I mean? It's like, I thought we were going to have a legendary moment now and everyone's complaining about the heat or it's kind of annoyed or they're fighting with their the significant other on the phone. That's what and I was going like, to say. It's like, it's like when your friends uh, come in from out of town and you plan like an amazing, um, amazing excursion yes. around your city. And then all of a sudden that friend is like in a fight with their boyfriend or girlfriend. And so they're like not having a good time and they're like stuck in their phone the whole time and tripping out. And you're like, Damn, I really... <laughs> There's nothing worse really... than being ready for something really exciting and no one else is on board. I mean, that's one of the worst experiences <laughs> and, ever. Uh, and I think that's 100% what happened Yeah, he was like, oh, Jesse Palmer. You're gonna be like, he's going to be lifting me up on the shoulders. Just Jesse, Jesse. In fact, part of me wonders if during the scavenger hunt at the very end, they started with finding Joey. Maybe like their last point was going to find yeah. Jesse Palmer and they just cut it because it just was going so sad. They're just like, forget it. It was just, just too depressing. Um, but but yeah, I mean, their time on that one-on-one, uh, the um, daytime portion. Yeah. I mean, there's not much to say except poutine, Jesse Palmer's favorite restaurant. Oh, you mean the group date? Yeah. yeah. And, and sad, sad Joey and and the girls were, they were struggling. Just, they were just ripping through it. They were just cruising around, talked to some people at a bench, got made their own poutine. Now, this was a moment Jen had a little cute moment with him. 
Yes. You know, and yes. kind of like the gross version she made <laughs> that gave it to him. <laughs> that, but that is memorable. Like, again, it's, that was it's memorable. So memorable. It's disgusting, right? But that, but now it's in his head. This as is why a cute I love moment. Jen. Jen is very playful, and Jen has taken every single opportunity that she's had with Joey. We'll talk about her piano moment with him later yes. who, to boldly pull him aside and give him a hard time and be playful. I like her because she's fun. Yes. She's just like enjoying. She gives me the Maria energy of very much just enjoying the experience for what it's worth yes. and being playful with it. She's one of the, yeah, she's not Daisy in her head. Too. Daisy has Daisy that energy too. too. Yes, you're right. And it's, but it's, it, it's simple moves. Yeah. But it's just charming sim simplicity. Mm -hmm. And that's like probably the hardest thing to do. It's true. It's true. Jen's really good at that. Jen is very good at that. And it seems that he really appreciates that. And he mentioned that numerous times during this episode that he feels very connected to Jen because she very specifically like takes the time to make those moments happen, yeah. even when everyone else is tense. So. Points for Jen. Mm, points for Jen. Now, speaking of the group date, and we'll talk about the evening portion here in a second. Um, I did find something very interesting about this whole episode overall with the Leia and Jess of it and Maria of it. Okay. We'll talk about that in a second. Okay. Um, but first, another quick pause. Family, family, you know what I'm watching this show. All I can think about is all the clothing and all the outfits that everyone has to pack. And to be honest, something that is so important to me is making sure I feel good in what I wear. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel powerful. And speaking of, let me tell you about Stitch Fix. Stitch Fix sends styles so good you can feel it. They deliver all the confidence that comes from a truly amazing outfit without any of the work. It is seriously so cool. With Stitch Fix, you get a stylist who understands your style, size, and budget. They do all the shopping for you. It's the easiest way to transform your wardrobe this season. I have used Stitch Fix before and and let me tell you, I have always had extremely great experiences. In fact, I swear my Stitch Fix stylist found me my favorite few pair of jeans, which is a big thing for me because jeans have always been a struggle. Um, so I'm so grateful for Stitch Fix. Your stylist helps take your wardrobe to the next level. They know what works for you. And sometimes they know even better than you do yourself. OK, Ooh. you just give your stylist your size style and budget preferences. You order boxes when you want and how you want, no subscription required. And your stylist sends five just for you pieces plus outfit recommendations and pro styling tips. You keep what you love and send back the rest. It's so easy. It really is so easy. You know that confidence boost you get when you put on a really amazing outfit? That's what I get from Stitch Fix. When I look good, I feel good and it shows. And if you don't love something, you just send it back. Shipping returns and exchanges are are always free. Like I said, I've used Stitch Fix before and I've had amazing experiences. Here's the thing. Style that makes you feel as good as you look. You can get started today at stitchfix.com slash mom dad. That's stitchfix.com slash mom dad. Stitchfix.com slash mom dad. Okay, so what I was going to say is I found it very, very interesting that we have been spending uh, countless hours, minutes, all of the episodes mm -hmm. with the drama that is Maria, where everyone is just anti our Queen Maria. Yes. And then all of a sudden this episode, it was like poof, just gone, gone, gone. Now, that could be the the editing team just cutting out all of the Maria slander. But I also feel like if it was there, they would have showed it to like keep the drama going. Because let's be real, we start the group date and in front of the women, we're told that Maria gets a one-on-one. -on -one. Leia and Jess still haven't gotten a one-on-one -on -one, and they're upset about that, obviously. Um, and then Maria gets the the fanciful, gorgeous, pick out your gown, yes. be, you know, absolutely glam around Montreal date that always leads to jealous reactions from the cast, many right? Levels, many levels. Always, every single season. And we didn't have that at all. Mm -hmm. It's just very curious to me. Well, I mean, obviously, uh, Jess, Jess got sent home pretty early. In this no, but they episode, both but. had the like look of disgust when they realized that Maria wasn't on the list for the group. You know what I mean? They both had the like. I Are just you find it very, me? very interesting. I'm waiting. So go, no, go I ahead. I think they realized it was the kiss of death. Oh, okay. Because look, if you go of, against Maria. Well, not only that, but maybe just like the concept of like talking shit isn't working for him. Yeah. So like Sydney made it her life goal to end Maria. Yeah. She gets let go. Yeah. Leia. The next day, or the same day, talks to him about it. Nothing happens. 
she gets a girl she gets a, a date you know what i'm saying she gets sure. a, she gets two roses the next day like yeah that's like, true that's true you know what i'm saying true. like they're she catching gets, she, on they're catching on that like he's not biting from them doing it and it's only hurting them so that sure i think it's still driving them equally as mad yeah but i think that they're realizing that like if i want to get out of here quick i start doing i start talking shit that's true so i do think that like Maybe they cut some stuff out, some ITM stuff, but I do think that they're realizing like it's not going well. That makes sense. Now, I, w- I will tell you, I am on pins and needles because Maria has gone on uh, TikTok and Instagram and basically said, hey, you know, be be generous. We don't know what uh, it looks like yeah. until we actually are seeing this back ourselves. And uh, she said that she's she was so gracious to be like, yeah, I feel like I've made mistakes through this. I was like, Queen, you are God, what I'm better than me. I'm obsessed with Maria. But she did say she's like, it will come to things will come to light. Just be patient. And then she hinted that um, she is very glad that she knew or the, the, the realization hit that uh, they were being filmed 24 seven because things will come to light. What and I'm like, mean? I don't know, but she's left us with a mystery. Maria <laughs> has left us with a mystery. And I am so curious. She did post a photo of herself um, doing like a watch party. I think it was last week. And I believe Sydney and Jess were in the photo. I didn't see Leia in the photo. And then she did like a mysterious kind of cryptic. fool me once type cryptic post after. Whoa. I don't know. There's something, there's something to Bruin. And I'm like, I'm peaked. The, See, cur- I was the curiosity le- is peaked. Yeah, I mean, it, it's interesting to think Leia was the one who was like, does no one care that Sydney's been let go? How dare you? Like, I'm standing up for my queen. I have different standards. Me and my friends ride or die. Meanwhile, your friends are at Maria's house. That's an interesting situation. Yeah. There. That's what I'm saying. Something's going to come. We're going to find out something. I feel it. Maria has said that that things will come to light. And I am curious. I am so curious. Well, you, uh, well, my question is, is she assuming they'll come to light? Has she seen episodes ahead of time and she knows? I don't think they filmed the women tell all yet. Well, so. no, my, yeah, my, she, she, she keeps saying like, you know, that everything's being filmed and it'll come to light. My question is like, does that mean on the show? Does that mean they'll just talk about stuff? Like, what does that mean? Does she, know. yeah, I'm very, that's, yeah, that's because, a major yeah, no, that is true because I, because I don't think women tell all has been filmed unless she's just assuming like they'll show something. They're going to, they're going to talk about it after the season ends on okay. podcast oh, interviews, okay. et cetera, that people will know and people, yeah. things have been proven and yeah, et cetera, well, Ma- et cetera. Maria, come on over. <laughs> Maria, we you know podcast. you're always welcome here. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, but then they have the night portion of the group date. Yeah. And um, Joey starts it off by a vulnerable king yes. comes in and is just like, this is how I feel. I'm struggling in this way, this way, and this way. Puts it all out on the table. And the women react accordingly. Yeah. The women also were having a tough time on the group date. And essentially, they all sit down with him. And say almost copy. It was literally like they they worked together before. They're like, guys, we're all going to talk about how it's really hard for everyone to see everyone making out and like forming a connection, right? Okay, cool. We're going to do a full copyright together, (laughs) like straight up. It It literally sounded. It was a script, and but they all were feeling the same way. They're all like, hey, we really really like you and this is really hard seeing you with all these other women Mm -hmm. and um, you could tell that it meant a lot to him to hear that there was a specific moment when he was talking with Kelsey A where she said actually like I I am really having a hard time because I I I like you so much and then she said I feel like I'm actually falling for you and he's like did you just whisper what I think you whispered and he's like say it one more time and I'm like oh my god it was spicy (laughs) okay Fifty Shades it was very like <laughs> say it again. It was smoky. It had a smoky <laughs> vibe to it, and we're seeing people crack who yeah. haven't been cracking. Mm-hmm. You know, Lexi, Kelsey, A, Rachel is really cracking. Like it's yeah. interesting to see these people that like like Leia, Jet, like they've been cracking since day one. But sure. like those three, we haven't seen a lot of them talk about. I'm insecure right now about this whole situation. Yeah. They've kind of always been like, it's all good. Let's enjoy ourselves. It's like an interesting. You're really starting to see 
people fall in love and also kind of be at war with this whole process. 100%. Like, mm. And you're also starting to see Joey's response to when people say they are falling for him. He so likes when Kelsey it. A, well, no, I'm saying like you can tell the difference though. I oh. feel like I'm actually finally starting to see. Now, granted, I, I still think that saying. he's going to get engaged to seven people, but there are a few right. that I'm like, okay, I could kind of tell at this point who he was going to start letting go at mm. this rose ceremony that we ended with. I was able to actually predict it in the past few. I've had no concept. Sure, I've sure. been like, I have no idea. This one, I could kind of see it coming a little bit. Um, but with Kelsey A, when she said, hey, I am falling for you, he lit up like a Christmas tree. Yes. He was so excited. He yes. say it again, baby girl. And they just yes. started macking again. Um, and then he has a moment with Jen where she says, I'm falling for you. <sighs> yep. I will say he didn't have quite the same reaction Each as time Kelsey. It just kind of went down. You know what I mean? You yeah. want to be the first to say it because it's like fresh and spicy. Yeah. You know, it's like it's like a hot dish. That first bite, woo! But you're three, you're three quarters away through that Your hot soup. Numb. You're kind of like, all right, I'm used to the heat there. You know, so you want to be the first person to say it. It's true. Well, he definitely was like, oh my gosh, inside. He literally did an ITM and he goes, I'm jumping up and down. Right. And you're like, okay, well. I'm so excited right now. But he said he was thrilled, <laughs> right. but I didn't see the exact same shock and yeah. excitement. A, I, I want to say arousal, maybe, was that one of the words Even I would with Kelsey use? Yeah, 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 it was yeah, arousal. Yeah, it was an arousal element yeah. versus an appreciation element. Yes. He still seemed very excited with Jen. Yes. But when Kelsey A did it, I was like, okay, this okay. is definitely yeah. like front runner for him at least, right? Mm -hmm. It has to be. Um, but then we see that uh, Lexi has a sit down with him. <sighs> this is the beginning of you know, essentially the Lexi's end. exit yeah. where Lexi says, Hey, um, in ITM, she's like, I want us to be on the same page. Like yeah. I'm ready to be a, a parent. And with everything with her health condition that she's spoken about, she's like, I, I don't have the privilege of being able to wait. Like I'm on a timeline right now yeah. and I'm looking for, you know, the minivan life and the kids and I need to kind of gauge where he's at. And so she, and she had, was like within two years. Yeah. So of she, like today, 100%. It was like get engaged, maybe get engaged for a year, within a year, start trying, have, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's like, let's triple that. Yeah. No. So basically he, which I, I again, I really appreciated his honesty. Yeah. I don't think we've ever had a lead in on camera say, you know, I'm looking for like a two to three year engagement. Gasp. Like I don't that's, think we've ever had that. I mean, that's what ends that's up long, but. but but that's what ends up happening because the reality of the situation is if they even make it. Yeah. Right. But the ones who end up going long term, it's like, yeah, because you really never dated. are, you didn't date. So there's long engagements and also a lot of people have long engagements, but like specifically in this franchise, that is what typically happens. So I appreciated that he actually said, yeah, for me, I'm yeah. looking for a, because two a three, three year, year engagement on this show is the same as like dating for two years and getting engaged for a year. Exactly. Like it's the concept. Exactly. So, you know, he said, I'm looking for a two, three year engagement. And then after that, a few years of, uh, you know, just being you and I in the marriage yeah. before children. Um, and so she, God, she's so graceful. Yeah. Um, she heard him and was like, okay, thank you so much for sharing non-reactive yeah, and was like, I need to just kind of sit and absorb this and mm. take my time, mm. which t is very admirable to me with Lexi. I tend to be a pretty reactive person. So when I see someone just take in the information yeah. and like kind of be like, all right. Um, and, yeah. not, and not even, by the way, not even tell Joey, I'm going to be th thinking about this and decide if I'm going to leave or not quietly to herself be like i'm gonna process this but thank you so much like yes. that is very admirable to me and i think very wise dare um, dare we say elegant uh, so elegant you very know what i mean elegant. lexi's very elegant very he's elegant. very elegant <laughs> they're very elegant together their I mean, timeline's just off but what TV, an elegant couple tbh this season is packed with elegance <laughs> a lot of elegance it's very elegant energy you know what i mean so. elegance 2024 Yes. Um, but yeah, so that was a big moment for yeah. the remainder of this episode. But she ends up then walking away and says, Hey, I'm gonna I have to process this. I yeah. have to think about yeah. this. Um, and then we have Jess. Jess, who is like, Oh my god, I haven't had a one on one. <laughs> She's like, I met you last week, <laughs> but I have to say, I she am sits falling down for you. with Joey. <laughs> He's like, huh? <laughs> and she says, I'm falling for you. And this man doesn't react at all. He doesn't say a word, which is actually And he goes shocking. like this. He goes, 
Mm. No smile. And you know what? It made me realize that I was like, Joey, I don't know how to put this, but was maybe reacting. <laughs> goes, explain yourself. Explain yourself. But I thought, <laughs> please. But I thought he was kind of the, the bachelor who was reacting to everyone similarly. Yeah. What it's showing me is, oh shit, he actually has like big feelings for a lot of these women. Yeah. Because you can tell that there's like, oh, when he's really engaging and saying, I am really having these feelings for you, I believe he uh, means it. I don't think he's doing the bachelor spiel. I feel like, because you saw it then with Jess, where he's clearly connected with her to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. um, first kiss, gave her a rose, a group date rose at one point. But when she said, I'm falling for you, he was just like, no. <sighs> he even had that moment too with, uh, with Sydney and Maria when Maria was like, I think you and I would be good. He's like, do you really though? Do you know me? I think it's an ick for him yeah. when someone too quickly is like, I'm falling for you and we'd be good together. He's like, show me the evidence, show me the proof. Yeah, I think he's also kind of like, I think that he's, he he's uh, uh, like, what do you call it when you're um, Wary? suspicious? Yeah. He's I think he's king. I think he's suspicious <laughs> of people. <laughs> I think he's suspicious of people using that. Yeah. Because he kind of like the Sydney thing. Yeah. He was kind of like, huh? We barely had a conversation. And you're telling me you're that you're going to. You, th you think you, we're going to work or out? Or you're going to fight for me? It's like, you don't even know me. Yeah. And then the Jess thing. It's like, we've bat had maybe three more, con two more conversations than you, me and Sydney have. Yeah. And you're telling me you love me? Because she said, I love you. And then he kind of said, No, there, she said, I'm falling. Falling, for whatever. <laughs> but but he said, you. I'm falling for you. And then he kind of sits there and goes, He literally kind of went, Huh. And then she's like, well, let me explain. And he goes, okay. Like, I'm calling bullshit kind of here. Like, you can almost see it like in a very nice way. He's calling bullshit. Mm -hmm. He's incredibly comfortable in awkward situations. And yeah. I feel like, like, even Gary would be like, that is a delight to you hear. You are so darling for letting <laughs> me know that you are falling and for me. And people always <laughs> love to hear that someone is in love and with them. And people around the world love hearing someone say I am falling for you. You know, love. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he, Joey doesn't do that. He sits there. America will be on your yeah. side. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jo Joey just love sits there and goes, well, okay. Um, how? <laughs> you know, it's, yeah, it was it's awkward, very true. but it was like, real and i appreciate it was that. very real that's what mm. i'm saying but that's why it hit me in the gut where i'm like yeah. oh shit he really likes a handful of these women yeah and he's like, like this is gonna be tough tough stuff agreed because i feel like he's got big feelings for lexi rachel kelsey t maria uh kelsey a daisy like i'm feeling yeah. that he's got like proper yes. feelings. jen like i'm feeling he's it's it's there so I'm like, oh shit, this is gonna get sticky and tough. Yeah. Um, but he then ends up being like, hey, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta send you out. He's like, the thing about it is, I have to be honest. Like, I can't picture it. So if I can't picture it, I'm not gonna waste your time. Yeah. I'd like to see you out. She's shook to the and core. I'm just going. How she did are you not expect shook? it. I like you're the only one that hasn't gone on like a date. And no, it's Leia like, hasn't either. I know what I'm just saying. It's like... Okay, I'm going to be real with you. I was... I'm watching I, everyone go on these one-on-ones and have long days and long conversations and extra time. And I, I would just assume at this point, like, we don't have the thing. No, I'll be real with you. I wish... I, I was shook to the core that he sent her home because just as a viewer, I felt like Jess and him had a thing. Like, she kind of... I thought they had a thing early, like, like episode one. But I feel like it kept going. Like, mm, okay. they'd have, you know, they were rolling around in the paint and the bathing suits. He was giving her group date roses. I, I don't know. I felt like okay. there definitely was a thing happening. And so for him to be like, no, it, it surprised me. Yeah. If I were her, I would have been pretty okay. shook, too. Okay. I feel like she was pretty confident yeah. that she at least was, like, in the front running um, like the front half of the okay, women, of I the would pack. say. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's I, how I took it. I feel like maybe up until now, but like now, I felt like he was. She was so clearly outpaced yeah. when it came to connections. But well, listen, fam. At the end of the day, if you go against Maria, because Leia was sent home later too, Sydney was sent home, Medina was sent home. It is kind of crazy. I'm just a little bit like, don't go against our Queen Maria, or <laughs> else you will be sent home. Granted, all of her allies were also sent home, but any, but J Maria stands. Now, I'm not trying to make this about. Zelda but <laughs> if you play but Tears of the can. Kingdom you know about Gloom 
Okay. And Maria is like, if you bite her, she's got gloom and gloom can infect you and then you're gone. So just be aware. I hear you. There's, I feel do too, not I, bite Maria I do, because I, you will be infected with gloom and you will be sent home. I feel two so ways about warning that. warning to all the women <laughs> left. Do not go up against Maria. But I have two feelings about that. Yes. Number one, it makes me feel kind of sad because Gloom is like, oh, so scary. And like Maria is our queen. I'm just, yeah. But I also feel like Maria loves horror and posts all of her horror. I, I feel like, like she would like this comparison. Saying. So I, you know, I okay. feel two ways about it. Well, I feel two ways about maybe it. Maybe it's like a, like a sprinkle Gloom. Okay. Like oh, the, the girls get sent home and there's just like sprinkles left on the pillow. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yes. Oh. It's like, this is my, this is my, um, my, my kingdom, my sprinkle kingdom. Yes. I like this very much. <laughs> Oh my I gosh, really I didn't do. even know what you were talking about when you said sprinkle. I was just oh, like nodding a sprinkle my head. of gloom. Are you saying a sprinkle of gloom or are you saying sprinkles like the, the like like cupcake like her, sprinkles? Her, like her sprinkle uh, empire. Her right. sprinkle oh, empire, the so kingdom. It's like a cute cute horror. Cute yeah, horror. horror. Cute horror. Yeah, yeah. Oh, which is a very cool niche. It's a very cool niche. I like that a lot. Okay. God. Love her. Okay. Um, but end of that group. So Jess ends up getting sent home uh-huh. and the group date goes to Jen. Yes. Which I was actually surprised by because his big reaction to the Kelsey A declaration. Yeah. Um, but he's vibing on Jen. I love Jen so much. I feel like this group rose to Jen probably sent Kelsey A spiraling a bit. Yep. Because Kelsey A is like, I told him I'm falling for him. Yep. And he didn't give it to me. Yep. A hundred percent. Just putting that out there. Um, okay. Uh, let's take another. That would rock me, by the way. If I like spilled my guts. Had oh, an epic sure. make out. I felt like we com- massively connected. And then he just gives the rose to someone else. That would be like, wait, am I, am I in my head? A hundred percent. Like that, what a game in your head that's playing. You're like, wait, was that not enough? Was that bullshit? Like, oof, I could see myself spiraling. I'm not built for this show. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's not built for it, baby. <laughs> um, we have to take another quick pause and then let's talk about Kelsey T. My yes. girl Kelsey T's one-on-one date. Um, family. So I've told you all about my dad's newest cat, Winston. Okay. But I don't know if I've ever shared that my dad is like, the cat king. Have I shared this before? King. My dad's the cat king for years. He's helped rescue cats and get them in safe homes. And he's helped foster and take care of so many cats over the years. So he knows his cat products. Okay. And after I told him about Pretty Litter a few years back, he started using it. And now this man swears he will only ever use Pretty Litter moving forward because it is the best. And my dad is a very clean person who likes hosting people over at his house frequently. So Pretty Litter changed the game for him by being a litter that kept his house smelling fresh and clean. And also it's low dust. So he didn't have kitty paw prints all over his house anymore with Pretty Litter. I'm telling you, if my dad, my dad says this is the stuff. And as the cat king, trust and believe it's the stuff. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Uh, Nothing beats Pretty Litter's ability to instantly trap odor too. It's ultra absorbent. It's lightweight, low dust, and one six-pound bag works for up to a month without clumping. That means no more wasting litter. Also, and this is really incredible, Mm -hmm. Pretty Litter's crystals change color to indicate early signs of potential illnesses in your cat. That's incredible. Like urinary tract infections, kidney issues, and more. Yeah, that has been hugely helpful for giving my dad peace of mind as well. I know that. And if that wasn't enough, Pretty Litter ships free right to your door. You never run out. You don't have huge kitty litter bags taking up space. And even better, you don't have to lug those huge tubs from a store to your car and into your house. Hey, my dad, like I said, the king of the cats and cleanliness counts on Pretty Litter to keep his house smelling fresh and clean. You can too. Go to prettylitter.com slash momdad to save 20% on your first order. That's prettylitter.com slash momdad to save 20% on your first order. Prettylitter.com slash momdad. Terms and conditions apply. See site for details. So next we have a one-on-one with Kelsey T, who I've said, Kelsey T is my sleeper from the beginning. I feel like everyone's like, shut up, Jessica. We know Kelsey T is when you're a sleeper. But I'm telling you, it's just because Joey has consistently given her those early roses in the rose ceremony. Mm -hmm. And then we always see a quick glimpse of him being like, you were the first to check in on me. I look forward to seeing Kelsey. And he always kind of has like a little ITM moment where he goes, there's something about her. I know. And I feel like this one-on-one showed why there's something about Kelsey T. Kelsey T has incredible energy. Like she, Kelsey T is a warm blanket of energy. Warm blanket. I felt my my I felt my anxiety drop yes. when she's talking. Yes. She's so she takes her time. Uh-huh. She's, she's like a soothing ve- balm. Very balmy. Yeah. <laughs> very balmy energy. <laughs> Big balm energy. <laughs> Big balm energy. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> which big, I would the love, big bomb. <laughs> which I would love for someone to say about me, which they never will. <laughs> she has very high strung, anxious energy. <laughs> Babe, here's what I'll say about you. You are charming, sweet, fun. Thank you. Charismatic, hilarious. Here we go. Sexy. <laughs> Big bomb oh. is not maybe the vibe. You know what I mean? That, that that's let let others do the big bomb. Okay. But that being said, I you felt you mean me anxiously pacing twenty four <laughs> yeah. hours a day doesn't give you big ball. I mean you getting your ten thousand steps a day just pacing the room while on the phone with someone. <laughs> it's just, like she can't be in the same room as another human when she's on the phone. It's like she's gone. If you, if you pacing, enter the pacing. room while she's on the phone, she's gone. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I got to pace because I pace in circles and yeah. it's embarrassing. Um, but Kelsey and uh, and Joey's one on one, they end up doing training for yeah. Cirque de Soleil, <laughs> which obviously, you know what my immediate reaction to this is as the most non flexible person on the planet. I'm like, I'd be drenched in sweat because I'm like, great. I have to show my future partner that I can't bend at all. Like, I'm so not flexible. It's- I will say, just say for for maybe anyone, it just it's it's a it was a very beautiful thing, and there was they had some moments, but I it will was very say, elegant. but I will say, like any time you get the like you got a workout date in some way, it's a little bit like I'm not trying to sweat, no, I'm, I'm trying, trying to, to connect sweat. with someone. I know, like when whenever there's like a third person there, like an instructor, and you have to sit there and not talk, I know, and then be like listening and like trying to get it right. It's a little bit like you're at a disadvantage, I feel like. I agree. I agree. But I will say I felt like this date was, I thought that they were going to have to do a full-blown then like Cirque de Soleil performance yeah. after that it was going to be like full training camp. But it was mm. more um, acro yoga romantic yes, vibes. Like true. very much like intimate together moving. Together. At one point they like had her like throw herself at Joey's body. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> you, mean, you mean like drop kick his... Nuts! <laughs> they dropped like, her at one point, and I was and like, like oh. "Oh, he's about to be crushed." <laughs> he's like, he's like, "Thank you." They did not, though, account for. They did not on the checklist. No. They did not account for the fact that Joey has like a severe reaction to dizziness and <laughs> nausea. So this guy's spinning three times and he's just like, do not vomit all over her face right now. Yeah, I feel like they knew it because they were like, well, we got Joey to cry so far. Let's see if we can get him to vomit. Like, let's do a one two punch on this situation, because not only when they when they saw that after one little spin, yeah. he was seeing stars and about to puke. They were like, let's put him in that human hamster wheel and roll him like, yes. a, I mean, like, and then they're like, let's spin him again and again. And they wouldn't stop spinning him. And watching it made me ill. Like I was feeling, you know, that that clammy when you're like, oh, I'm about yes. to pass out. I felt that the entire yes. time watching him. And so obviously he could only concentrate on not throwing up. That's if, the only thing he could concentrate yes. on. Yes. If you are very enthralled romantically. Yeah. There are many symptoms you can overcome, in my opinion. Sure. A headache. Sure. You can kind of push if you're, through. If you're it. aroused and having a good time, you sure. can kind of like push, push through, through the headache. Mm-hmm. Cold, sure. stuffy nose, you could push through. Pain, like an ache or a pain, yeah. annoying, you could push through. Mm-hmm. Nausea is truly that one symptom yep. that like brings you to your knees <laughs> and you don't care about anything. No, there's All nothing. you care about is getting that feeling out of there no i'd give away like all my savings like in that moment if someone came up to me it would just be like here Whatever take it, it all takes. like i don't care like just i just need to crumple on the floor and just leave me be yes as i just clam and it it's up. like when you're it's like do that feeling and i feel like it comes more with like the older i get the worse it gets because yeah. when i was young you could like jump on a trampoline after you had like a full meal and you yeah. like, <laughs> now it's like you get in the back of an uber for too long oh. and you're like Oh, <laughs> like, you, you get dropped off at your location and you're like, I need to stand outside for like 20 minutes and like calm down <laughs> yeah. off this. It's not something that goes away quick. You know, it's like there's a long ramp. Oh, no, truly. Every time I 
because if Aunt Katie, Instagram for Aunt Katie and I are going out, I will Uber to her yes. apartment. And every time I Uber to her apartment, she knows that for 30 <laughs> minutes after, I'm going to be like laying on the couch with my feet up to like calm down because I'm not going to, because I'm like, I'm so, going to puke for so sure from that the car being, sickness. Exactly. That being said, when you're spinning, it's not like once you're spinning, you're good. It's no. like now I need a good 10, 15 to kind of come off of this. So she's sitting next to him and he, Joey, the king of eye contact, he even mentioned in this episode, he like, or in the last one, that's some point he's like i so value eye yes. contact he is the king of eye contact kelsey's sitting next to him he can't even look no. at her he's looking straight ahead to try to balance out his equilibrium yeah. like he was just it was toast and i felt for kelsey because i also felt for him because he yeah. was about to you know absolutely lose it but like i felt for her because i'm like man she was such a great sport and was yes. like talking him through it. But you know that awkward feeling when you even don't know someone that well and they're like sick on a yes. date that you're like trying to comfort them and you're yes. just like, yeah, I'm so sorry. You don't oh, feel good. God. It's just like, I'm it's so the worst. sorry. <laughs> and then you're it's like, do I, do I say something romantic? Because he can't even like, he's yeah, trying he's not, not to vomit <laughs> right now. It's just a romantic. This is not romantic. Okay, let's just make it funny. But then you're like, the last thing you want to do is even laugh. When you're, <laughs> you just need to be left alone. You want to go home. Oh, yes. You just want to go home when you're when you're nauseous. You just want to go home, and, and and the person that's with you knows that, and so uh, then you're like, oh. And then this the person is who's nauseous awkward. is trying. Yeah, this is great. It's all brutal. Yeah. So I felt for I her felt in that, for but him. luckily they had an evening portion, so he was able yes. to probably gather himself for a couple hours, pop a Dramamine, you know, do what he needs to do, take a bath, do do all yes. do all the things to calm down his poor stomach. Luckily, she's human balm. Luckily, she's human balm, so that was that was perfect. Yeah. But then they ended up having their their evening portion, and they had a conversation um, about why she has certain trust issues. Yeah. And that conversation was, I looked at Evan and I go, "Is this the first time we've had this type of specific conversation on the show?" To me, it might be the like religious parent rejecting the child vibe, and it's like yeah. maybe. I feel like maybe. And so Kelsey shared that she has a hard time trusting and she wanted to give him a, a heads up before hometowns that um, she doesn't have a super tight relationship with her family, especially her dad, because growing up, her dad was like her bestie. Oh, man, this is gonna make me emotional. Growing up, her dad was her bestie and they would spend tons of time together. Um, and then as she got older, um, something that was very prevalent in their family was religion. I don't think she ever mentioned specifically mm. what, um, but it was religion and that in her father's house, it was like, this is what you do. And she even mentioned that she was like, I want to go to college. But from his perspective, religion came first and foremost. Right. So it seems like a very conservative you know, religion. She then says that that was not her priority and it went against who she was. And in her father's house, if you're not in religion, then you're out of the house. Yeah. And, uh, Oh man, you know, tough coming from Evan and I were sitting there, you know, coming from uh, the background that we have our religious trauma growing up and, yeah. you know, just seeing also so many friends who have experienced similar things to what Kelsey was talking about. That really hit me in the gut. Big time. And, um, I just shout out to Kelsey for sharing that, yeah. you know, people who have gone through that specific religious trauma know that that's a very, it takes a lot of courage to yeah. talk about because you know that when you talk about it, it's going to become a topic that's then discussed with your family and they're going to have a problem with it. You brought it up. Like there's just a lot of layers. So her bringing that up, I wanted to say shout out and thank you. Cause I feel like a lot of people probably related to that and needed yeah. to hear that. Um, and then, you know, we found out from um, her that she's, start like rebuilding with her dad they'll go out to movies every once in a while now but you know that it's yeah. tough and because of that she does have trust issues because she's like how could someone who was my family who loved me so much like take that love away yeah. which is a real feeling for those of Ooh. us who have experienced that and with religious trauma it's like the 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 removal of love mm -hmm. of a family member it's like yeah that's, jarring it and it does really affect you in a very real way um but per usual, you know, Joey yeah. just hears, listens and sits in it. Sits in it Unafraid. And no. And, and, and just a, so appreciated her willingness to express where she's coming from. And I also feel like, you know, Kelsey sharing this is going to be, I don't know. It was going to, I feel like it's going to be very beneficial in their relationship moving forward because then you're able to see like the core point of where if like there's those moments where she's having a hard time trusting you're able to go okay this is this is where this feeling yeah. is coming from and yes anywho so i 
Shout out to Kelsey T. Yeah. Love her. Appreciated her sharing that. Um, and I see I see beautiful things in the future. I, I really could see them working out. Because I, so I feel too. like her energy is very like he is so calm and low key, mm-hmm. but I feel like she even double bomb. She one like could even say. out bombs him. I feel like a little bit. I feel like she out bombs him. Yeah, I would say the bomb the <laughs> the bomb goes heavier with her. Yeah, uh, but they are a double bomb. Yeah, they are a double bomb. <laughs> you know, bomb. And, and, and they're bombed up, and I feel <laughs> like yeah, I don't know. I always think about that, like beautiful chemistry but i always go back to that like is too much bomb too much bomb that's true you know yeah we don't know do we need a little bit of opposites i don't know i don't know that's the thing that's the thing i always wonder about like kelsey t i'm trying to think um maybe daisy maybe i don't know i don't know yeah i'm always just trying to think about like do we need a little more energy to kind of balance out his melanin is is are they both just be able to be beautifully mellow together i don't know yeah well, he gives her the rose, and then they are met by a violinist and an aerialist. I think that's how you say it, and, and oh. uh, yeah, the the silks, and it yes. is quite romantic it and is. quite beautiful. And but I was expecting them to be put on the spot to have to perform their Cirque du Soleil moment, and they're like, "Here are the ropes and silks. You're going to have to go up there and do it." <laughs> Just yeah, figure oh, it right. out. right. Like we trained you, so now it's time to get to Just work. Just figure this shit out and make yes. it work. Um, and then after Kelsey T's, we have Maria's one-on-one. Um, but before that, we have to take one more quick pause, and then we will get into our Queen Maria's mm. one-on-one family. Listen, we all know when we watch these reality TV shows, we know what's going to be coming soon, whether it be on camera or off camera. And that is the money conversation, right? It's tough out there right now. And saving money whenever possible is key. I've come to realize over the years, though, how much money of mine has been wasted, to be honest, on monthly subscriptions that I had completely forgotten to cancel or just gave up on trying to cancel because I had to call to cancel and it was a nightmare and was taking too long and I gave up. It's very upsetting. But then I discovered Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills. Uh, We are a home that swears by Rocket Money over here, if that's for sure. We love Rocket mm-hmm. Money. Because why wouldn't we? Because Rocket Money is amazing. Yes, it is. With Rocket Money, I can see all my subscriptions in one place. And if I see something I don't want, I can cancel it with a tap. I never have to get on the phone with customer service. They'll even try to get you a refund for the last couple months of wasted money and negotiate to lower your bills for you by up to 20%. All you have to do is take a picture of your bill and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. It truly is a gift. And we aren't the only ones obsessed with Rocket Money, obviously. Obviously, Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has helped its members save an average of $720 a year with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions. Okay, $500 million in canceled subscriptions. Last year, it saved me over $1,000. So yeah, if you aren't using Rocket Money, what are you doing? Okay, stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash momdad. That's rocketmoney.com slash momdad. Rocketmoney.com slash momdad. All right. And finally, for the dates, we have our Maria, who is given the one on one, the pretty woman date, as Game of Roses has called it, where you have the individual come up and say, is Maria here? And then takes you off in a gorgeous Rolls Royce of a car. And then she is given a gorgeous gown to wander about in. That car? What car even was that? It was like a... I don't even know what that was. It was like a limo, but it was like a Batmobile. Yeah, it was... Was so it was chic. insane. <laughs> and you know what? Like, we know Maria is uh, seemingly well to do because her. Okay, well, her, you and I have, I mean, obviously, when we saw the preview of the, what appears to be the family home and knowing that she has a family sprinkle, estate. A family estate and a sprinkle empire, yes. we assume that Maria, you know, that the family is well off. Also, anytime someone says, my family's in this business. <laughs> that says 
something very different than my dad works for this company. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, we're in the sprinkle biz. Is like, yeah, oh, you're the sprinkle we, god. Would any, anytime you're a child, you're the child of someone, and yes. you say my family does this, <laughs> that's that's like a life that's completely different than my dad owns this company. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's com- it's like. It's legacy. It's like we are all a we part of it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So anytime someone says we, when it comes to what their dad does for a living, it's different energy. You know, <laughs> big different energy. Which is why Evan and I, when we were watching this date, we're dying with the concept of because, you know, she's Canadian. And we were like this idea that she gets the date where they're going to different designer stores. We're like, how funny would it be that it's like, oh, I'm going to wow her with this date. They roll up to the first designer store and the... um you know the retail employee comes out and uh and maria is just like oh Stuart, so good to see yeah, like, you yeah it's been a few them weeks all. <laughs> he's taking like, her on the date yeah. <laughs> but she's like Stuart, what are you doing here is is Catherine back there get her out here um <laughs> how was the collection this year? did you guys have fun in new york for uh for fashion week fantastic it's good to see I you know. I, I have come over to the trip. house <laughs> Come to the house. We would love to see you. You know, dad got a brand new gorgeous scotch that he hasn't opened yet. You know that he would just yeah, That's also another thing, die. too. If you say, if you talk to someone else and say, dad, like, dad got, that's also another hint to, like, you're balling. It's just all these subtle things that, that normal people don't say. I just love the like, idea of her walking into one of the designer's stores and being like, oh, my God, Catherine, I know it's been forever. It's been forever. The last capsule collection that came in, you know, I, ha- I had to have it all. But like, I just like, put, that. put those two pieces aside for me. Give, I, give Jerry my blessing. Anyway, we'll talk I know later. I'm, I know I'm here with the show, but like, just make sure those two pieces are put aside. They're going to have me get in this one dress. It's like not my vibe at all. Joey's going to pick up this glitter dress that is clearly not my style. By the way, yeah. Joey picks out the full glitter right, right. outfit for Maria. She's, yeah. She puts numerous dresses on. He does the full head to toe glitter. Uh-huh. Maria. Now listen, Maria looks stunning in anything she puts on so she looked beautiful in this dress do not get me wrong but if you have been not observing maria style this entire show she has like some of the most the most cool style that i've like ever sick. seen it's so sick but it's definitely not glitter if anything it's absence of glitter it's like yeah, but also, stark but I'll and be he honest chooses with you. the full top to bottom glitter i'm like if, if i was maria i'd be a little bit like do you know me joey have you been watching me at all you pick the full glitter gown? you're right there but i do feel like the options were not her style That's so true, she tried on like three or four things and each one was like that is so not her it wasn't maria's style so, so i much. felt like gorgeous the glitter gowns, gorgeous gowns they just <laughs> were not her right. style gorgeous gowns gorgeous, <laughs> gorgeous gowns, gowns. <laughs> <laughs> well you gotta be careful about that one um <laughs> Yes, I just oh, the Taylor Swift. Yeah, yeah, you don't say anything about Taylor, <laughs> but like, I just felt like all of them were like the something she would definitely not wear. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. in context, though, I do feel like the glitter gown. Okay, maybe I that's mean, more. I don't know. I just felt like the other two, like they were. I thought the other two were fab, and I'm like, yeah. I thought they looked great on her. Uh, Whatever. Anyway, it's just if I was no, Maria, I mean, listen. it would be a little bit of like noted. You've been seeing <laughs> right. me in very like New York Fashion Week energy this whole time, and you picked like the head to toe glitter. But I do feel like Maria would be the one that would be like, no. That's I'm wearing true. The, like she wouldn't just go with it because he picked it. That's true. That's true. Okay, but let's get to the <sighs> Maria gets this date. Yeah. The second she gets in whatever type of limo car that was, you and I, the charm was off the rails. Our our smiles were ear to ear. This is, I think, my favorite contestant on this show. She's dropping. That's what she said. <laughs> in there like she is so free she is so charming and funny i could just sit and watch her talk for literal hours she's making him say i love you in french yeah and then he's like what am i saying and she's like we oui. know she's like what is she's like saying thank you thank no, you she's for saying like, she's like say je t'aime yeah say je t'aime it's i love you and he's like wait what and she's like say je t'aime she's like merci merci yeah i so mean she's so, so charming. charming and then she's like say voulez-vous que c'est avec moi or whatever say yeah, yeah. and he's like no i can't say that i'm gonna get canceled yeah. <laughs> she's like say it yeah. and then she's like so joey fun. and he is laughing he's like, laughing so she hard she makes him laugh 
Yes. And he keeps saying, like, you never know what she's going to do. She keeps me on my toes. I'm having so much fun. Like, I needed this. He's like, I needed this. Like, I'm this is beaming. the first date that he, like, she's just making it fun. I'm Pure beaming, fun. beaming and blushing yes. watching the entire date. Like, I was like a little bit like, oh my gosh, she's so charming. I can't even I handle it. I think Joey's it. aware that he's out, that she's out of his league when it comes to like, conversation that yeah. she's just kind of a master at like she really being is. charming on a yeah, date yeah, 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 and yeah, you could yeah. tell he's sitting back there and just kind of enjoying it and being like i this game she's got game she has got game for she's days got game yes yes no you're right it definitely feels like he gets to sit back on his heels and be like i'm and gonna get, get as the kids say rizzed up yeah you know <laughs> she was the rizzler yeah <laughs> <laughs> She really was, though. She was rizzling. <laughs> rizzling. <laughs> like sizzling, you know what I mean? Rizzling. I will just say, it was impressive. <laughs> no, it really was. And I think that, I, I, get, I, yeah, I don't think I've seen these moments of, it felt like, the, the clips that we saw of them in the car when they were driving, it almost felt like, clips that we weren't supposed to see because it was so charming because i feel like the bachelor yes. has it's very standard here's a conversation b conversation c conversation d conversation rose yes. and a every question was just every every other question uh, every other conversation is i'm going it's hard right now i feel this way about you do you like me i like you yeah you're so great no you're so great here's a hardcore thing that happened to me i love you i'm so sorry that's going through i'm falling for you right that's everyone but she's just like the, you know that's, that's what she thing. said like she's completely but the top of every date the top of every date typically has the same it's so good to see you yeah yes. it's been a long time and i've been waiting but now i'm so excited and think about the maria drama leading up to it you'd think that you'd get in the car and it would be like yeah you know it's been tough and i know it's yeah. been probably hard for you joey to not send me home because of what everybody's been saying but like i'm so happy that we're having this time together maria hops in this car and is like give me the champs i'm gonna throw out that's what she says i'm gonna charm the living socks out of him she was smacking him on the leg she's throw i mean she was i think my favorite one it was, was when... like god she just she just took she just took control of that date she took control of that date like she was in the driver's she seat she said one killed me and i was like this this is how you know she's the real one is that she goes, she was looking outside when they were driving and she goes, it's so beautiful. And he goes, you're beautiful. And he goes, she goes like, oh, thank you, Jolene. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like she, she was basically mocking him for like how bad line. Yeah, that yeah. Like, line that was. bachelor line was. Because he's just like, well, you're beautiful. And she's like, oh, thank you, Jolene. <laughs> it was like, it was, I mean, that was a real fucking line that killed me. And he's like, why do you say it like that? And she's like, oh, no, I'm just saying it like that. Like he didn't even pick up that he just got roasted. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. She was that was hope. That care. was like she's she's our people. Like that is this that sarcasm. Sarcasm. Wow. <laughs> the Foo Fighters. <laughs> uh, <laughs> dude, what is wrong with me today? Uh, like, there's some. There's like a. There's something going wrong. Anyway, her, she is one of the only sarcastic people on the show. That, like, well, that we're being shown. That we're being shown. That's what they, I mean. Yeah, that they yeah, show, yeah. but like she's actually sarcastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sarcastic. Who <laughs> 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 fight is? That's a really good Christopher Walken. Thank you, thank you. It's very good. <laughs> I like that. I like that you, you knew what it was immediately. immediately. <laughs> If those of you who don't know, I was gonna say that's, SNL, that's an older demo. Years ago, the Foo Fighters were on SNL. Christopher Walken had never heard of the band, and, and when he got asked <laughs> to, <laughs> when he when introduced he introduced, them. he's like, I don't know, the Foo Fighters. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Oh, that kills me. <laughs> but no, Maria, listen, I don't care if people are like, oh my god, you guys, stop talking about Maria. I don't care. I'm a literal. Yeah. I'm a fucking simp for this woman. Dude. Like I'm a literal simp for the Maria. Liz charm is. And then off even the her, rails. then just going on TikTok and being like acknowledging w ways that she feels like she made mistakes and like, hey, you didn't see everything, and I regret. And I'm like, damn, nobody was even coming at you, and you decided to be like that amazing to hold yourself accountable. God, I'm upset. And even the fact that Jess and Sydney are at her house 
Oh, I don't know if they're at her house, but they're together. Watch party. Yeah, that she's even though that's cool. Listen, she's the best, and I am very happy because from what I have observed, especially in the last like two weeks, the nation has risen up for Maria, and everyone is obsessed with her. She is getting followers rapidly. Welcome, you bandwagoners. (laughs) We were there early. I think every a lot of people liked her from the beginning. (laughs) (laughs) But also, also. It seems like the big thing on everyone's lips right now is if Maria and Joey don't work out, everyone wants Maria for Bachelorette. So hear us, ABC, right now, okay? We often ask, I will say, they delivered, they gave us charity and we, we, we said, please, charity. And you, you all let us have charity as our Bachelorette. And guess what? It was such a good season, okay? So listen to us. <laughs> okay? So we're asking you. And also, everybody wanted Joey. And Joey's been an amazing season. We want Maria. Please. If Maria wants to be bachelorette and her and Joey don't work out, please. Because when when the nation rises up and says, please, we would like this person for a bachelor bachelorette, typically works out great. And it's a mm. great season. Okay? Agreed. None of this Zach stuff. Okay. Sorry, Zach. Okay? But none of the Zach business of it all. Um, but I don't... Okay. With Maria and Joey's date, I feel like initially... I was very much of the mindset that I didn't necessarily see them moving Mm. forward together because like you said, I'm like, I see Maria. I see Maria to be quite frank with you with an A-list actor. Mm. I I just see Maria with like, I, I, I I picture her walking red carpets. I picture Maria just in that, like an A-list position. Um, and I wasn't even quite sure. I'm like, how much does she like Joey? I can tell, obviously, she likes him. But even the way that she was handling their conversation when she was super transparent with him, yeah. she was like, yeah, I don't know like where we're at. Will you be able to see me for me or are you going to see me for all the drama? So mm-hmm. we'll see. So I wasn't quite sure. But after this date, I mean, I I can see it now. I, I did not think. Yeah. I was like, I was like, oh, I feel like unfortunately tragically maria will probably be going home soon because you know i don't know if joey will be able to get past the drama and she's just you know she has so much charisma that he might be intimidated by it you know da, 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 da. but man this they just were having so much fun and he kept saying i needed this today yeah he had been really struggling really struggling with with all of the process that he had with his thoughts about if someone was going to leave him and his worries and his fears. And with Maria, he just has so much fun. And the thing about it is I think he knows that if he chooses Maria, life's going to be really fun. Mm. And that's very attractive. I'll yeah. tell you, as someone who's been married, you know, for 11 years, been with the same person for 19, having fun together is like, of, in my opinion, very high importance. Mm-hmm. And I'm basically the male, like I'm basically Maria. <laughs> so like that's kind of a, you can you can kind of glimpse, you know, Joey, if you're looking to kind of be a glimpse with her, you can just kind of look at our my dynamic yeah, exactly. and who I am. No. But you're absolutely right. Fun together is huge. Yeah. And having a little bit of like keeping you on your toes, mm-hmm. huge. Totally. I could really see it now, seeing them together. And also, you know, we saw a side of Maria where she was she was getting really emotional in yeah. ITMs and feeling like he really was making her feel so special. And I think the thing with Maria is the more that I'm like processing it, I'm like, oh, she is so sparkly mm. and such a star that I'm like, I feel it would be good for her to be with someone who allows her to really shine. Yeah. And Joey <laughs> seems like the type of man who is confident enough to take a back seat and be chill and like watch his partner shine yeah. and like, you know, everyone be like ooing and aahing and she's amazing and we yeah. love her and not feel like that competitive. Like I need to be the one who gets the mm-hmm. all the attention. Like mm-hmm. I could definitely see that actually. I agree. Working out. That Yeah, it's kind of like the different dynamic. We were talking about the double bomb, which is like, very calm energy, very peaceful energy yes. that like <clears throat> that like Alexi, a Kelsey T would have. Mm-hmm. But then you have like, okay, but maybe the dynamic could also be with with her like, okay, she's kind of the the sparkle in the room and you're kind of the base there. So I don't know. It's interesting to see if he what he's looking for. Yeah. <clears throat> That's what the mystery is. Yeah. He I'm hasn't shown sure. he hasn't really shown what he's looking for. Yeah. What energy he reacts to the most. Because he's reacting to both in a very positive way. That's true. Well, 
they end up getting a very romantic rap. Yeah. Okay. They get a full blown feist concert. Amazing. Get, now the the money they are spending this season, we get Michael Bolton and we get feist it's a so major far. Artist, okay. Yeah. Like they are spending the money this season. I'm wondering where it's not going to. So like, is our next Bachelorette season going to be absolutely like just pennies? <laughs> like it's going to be fully in <laughs> oceans the entire up there, time. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Evan. I'm doing Evan's all the musical. the musical dates and I just sing other people's songs because he's like I'll do it for free yeah I'll do it for free <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was super romantic yeah. and they had candles everywhere and he gives her the rose and they're kissing and emotional and he seems to all of a sudden his cares are whisked away mm-hmm. because Maria is the absolute queen mm-hmm. um, and yeah we shall see with the two of them whether it's it's for the long haul um, I still don't think I see her um, walking away because I, I just don't know if he I don't know. I don't. Mm. She's just. She's just. The charisma is just so charismatic. If the charisma is just charisma, yeah. um, that I don't know if I see that. And we also see previews of her being like, I don't know if I can do this anymore. Yeah. Um. But if they aren't together, Bachelorette, please. Um. Then we have before the rose ceremony. Lexi. We have Lexi. Yeah. And so Lexi has been talking. She was actually talking to Maria and to some of the other women about how she's been processing her and Joey's conversation. Mm -hmm. Um, And she ends up making a decision and she goes to Joey um, to his hotel room and sits him down and basically is like, hey, this is not me coming for you at all. It's saying you do you're doing anything wrong by feeling the way you're feeling. I respect your timeline. But the bottom line is, again, I don't have the privilege to be on that exact timeline because of my health conditions. And this is what I want in my life. And um, I mean, he is shaken because like he said in his ITMs, he's like, I when she said that I like her so much and could see myself leaving with her that I was picturing maybe you know, as we move through the rest of this process together, figuring out if I could get there for her. It's not because, like a deal breaker, maybe. It's yeah, just like a, we work through it thing. He didn't, because he had, didn't say a hard no to uh, having, um, going on the, the process of children quickly. But he's like, this was the timeline, timeline I had in mind, but I'm not, you know, opposed to maybe getting there. Um, so that was kind of where his, his process was. So when she all of a sudden was like, you know what? No, this is, this is, and I, man, she again i know you were saying the elegance yeah. but she was just so i feel like it was a really important moment because she has desires and needs that she has to get to in her life and like she said she doesn't have the privilege to have a certain timeline and those are the things that she wants in her life and she was just like i'm not going to compromise that and this is yeah. what i want and i also felt like i was getting the energy from her that she knew that the longer she stayed, the more feelings she developed for Joey. And then the harder it would be if they weren't on the same timeline. Mm-hmm. Because sure, she could wait around and see if he got there. Mm-hmm. But then you are kind of setting yourself up for disastrous heartbreak. Because what if he ends up choosing Lexi and then they're engaged and all yeah. of a sudden six months into an engagement, he's like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not emotionally there yet. And then it feels like time that she could have been spending elsewhere. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, it was a really powerful conversation, I feel like, and showed boundaries like very beautifully. And he handled it beautifully as well. I mean, Great. he was like, I hear you. And when he said before she was about to leave, he's like, I think you're going to be an incredible mother. Mm-hmm. It was like, oof. It was emotional, <clears throat> that conversation. And it definitely rattled him because. Yeah, because it's kind of the worst case scenario that he's been feeling. So it's a little bit like, oh, no. Yeah. I mean, it definitely was already had a front runner leave now. Yeah. I think that was the thing. Like, it definitely wasn't like a rattling in the sense that like, oh, I wasn't good enough for her. It's like, oh, we have different timelines. Whatever the reason is. But yeah, the idea of she definitely, you could tell when she left in his ITMs that she was a front runner to him. Like, I would imagine at least top three to him. Yeah. And now it's like, oh, okay. Yeah. She's gone. But, um sending all of our love to Lexi and yeah. I think Lexi really is incredible. really going to struggle anyone liking her. <laughs> she, you know, she's, <laughs> she's not cool at all. You know, she's really going to struggle out there. No, Lexi's going to be chill. Now, now that she's been exposed to, it's like all these people at her DMs. Yeah, going, more what's up? What's up? What's up? Meet people. And yeah. 
No, Le- Lexi is uh, an incredible person. Yeah. And um, it's been lovely to get to know you, Lexi. Mm-hmm. That's for sure. And wishing you all the best. Bachelor Nation is rooting for you. Yes. Um, so then we end up having the cocktail party and... Joey gives another speech. Yes. Okay. And all then the women are again like, okay, it's time for us to turn on our A game. Yeah. Caitlin right away sits down with him and is just like, I feel like I have a lot to learn from you. And I'm like, every man is like, quit. They love that. <laughs> <laughs> all the male egos are just like, yes, you have a lot to learn. An amazing, from us. an amazing ego stroke. Especially the radio chemist being yeah, like, I have a lot to like, learn I'm from you. you right now. <laughs> Please teach me things. She's like please that, that, she's so sweet and humble and crazy like i know giving in a weird way she's always just like I, I bet this is so much for you meanwhile everyone else can be like this is hard for me she never makes it about herself well no even when then maria had the last week the interruption situation yeah. she right away was like no maria did it in a really kind way everybody like please take note like i'm not <laughs> maria interrupted start- me in a very kind way i mean like what else? i mean that's yeah she's she's special when it comes to that level of like humility and zero self selfishness. Yeah, I'm really bummed out that she got sent home. I know, I, I know. You and I both were like big Caitlyn fans and we were rooting for Caitlyn. <laughs> I think I, she just got unlucky with the time. That's what we were saying. We're like, I think that if she would have gotten a one-on-one, yeah, it she been. would have still been around. Agreed. It's just the unfortunate situation that she didn't get a one-on-one yeah. that's like, oh man, it's such Completely a bummer. Completely agreed. It's such a bummer. Um, but Daisy and Joey have their moment where she's like, I got to ask you a big make or to break it question. She puts her feet up on him and is like, I need foot rubs are you good at it and i need them multiple times a day and i say to that daisy i see you and you go girl (laughs) because the amount of times that my foot is in the air even though not high because i am not flexible um that my foot is in the air making evan rub my feet is often so that is very important in a relationship my hands have gotten very strong i will say yeah you your hands are calloused because of rubbing my feet so much (laughs) I know. I have gotten very good at rubs. It is a make it or break it. I'm like, yes. if I'd be with somebody who wasn't down for a foot rub, it wouldn't work. Mm-hmm. Like, it really wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'd, I'd try, but it yeah. would ultimately lend to, like, lead to divorce. So I would try. I, I would no, do it was my a best. very charming moment. I felt like it kind of gave a little bit, like, of a window into, like, what it would be like to be together, too. You know, sitting on the couch rubbing feet is very, like, intimate moments vibe. So I liked that. I thought it was yeah. like a, a very clever, smart, unobtrusive way to like just give you a glimpse into our life together. I thought that was well played. I also think too that she um gave him a deep breath. Yeah. It was a Maria moment. We're yeah. laughing, we're having fun. Yes. Right. Um w- I'm not working. You're, yeah, you're stressed out right now with this process. Clearly it's getting to you and I'm gonna say I have a make it or break it for you. And yeah. then it's about foot rubs. It's like yes. okay with me it's easy. We can laugh, yes. you know, et cetera, which I think a lead needs a deep breath sometimes Big because time. they're under so much stress. Um, and then we had Jen where Jen was like, I have, I uh, haven't told you something about myself. And she walks, she takes Joey's hand, walks by the women. Already has the rose, by the way. Already has the rose, walks by the women sits down at a piano that's next to the women in the same room and is like, I'm going to teach you how to play the piano. This moment, which by the way, I loved. I'm like the confidence I live for. I'm like, this is, this is the bachelor. This is part of the whole, this is part of the gig, but it is a risky move and it's making me nervous because I, I love Jen so much but I feel like we saw even in the preview, like it kind of immediately like targets you a little bit. We see the women at one point, you know, Jen going up and flirting. And I don't know if it's like an a specific edit or anything, but, you know, we're seeing the women kind of tighten up. So mm-hmm. I'm hoping that some Jen eye rolls. Some, I don't yeah. think it was personal, though. I think it was just like, I'm tired of this process. And anytime it's forced i'm forced to see anything i'm over it oh no for sure i don't think it was personal either but i think that it gets to a point where you start to get so exhausted and you really fall for the lead that all of a sudden you can start yeah feeling certain ways about certain people in yeah. in the uh, house with you and having to be sit there while someone like makes out and like has this romantic moment is just brutal so, so they were <laughs> on jen's part i gotta so say. they were playing the piano in front of the women and the yeah. women were kind of like Sweet. this isn't weird at all right seriously <laughs> 
it's, we're getting to that point where like people are now like that's my boyfriend but see what i would have done is if i would have been one of the ladies i would have been like well i'm already here so i would have walked over to the piano and started singing loudly over what they were playing <laughs> and like laying across the Doing piano harmony. laying across the piano and been like full lounge singer like joey i'm gonna sing something for you baby yeah. that's what oh. i would have done that's what i would have done so i don't well, know luckily why. everyone's kind of friends now right there's no real yeah. enemies left no i mean even like so rachel was one of the ones who was struggling through yeah. this and she when she pulled joey aside she was like thanks for serenading <laughs> yeah <laughs> so right. she made That's a joke funny. about it but you can tell that they're friends right away because after the rose ceremony and rachel stays she's crying yeah. like losing some of the girls she's True. legitimately crying so there's deep friendships that definitely definitely went on um and we did see speaking of friends leia and joey we saw them speak i think for what half of a second um I was expecting her to be like, we have lit these candles in honor of Sydney. Is no one sad I'm leaving? <laughs> I was like, Leo, we, like, no. we didn't get any sadness about Jess leaving. I'm like, what happened to the trio? What happened to the, the uniting of friendships? I'm like, Jess got sent home mid-date and Leia had no reaction. She's I'm like, like what, why isn't anybody sad for <laughs> Jess? Why is it just about Sydney? <laughs> Come on now, let's be fair. Seriously. Let's be fair. Um, but then we have the rose ceremony. Obviously, Jen, Kelsey, T, and Maria already have roses. The first day, the first rose goes to Daisy, and then Kelsey A and Rachel, and going home are Caitlin and Leia. Um, we have a moment. Leia, by the way, we're seeing we get like no, barely any no, like just... interview from her. She doesn't say much leaving, and seems like she's in shock and not happy. Gets in the car. The producer is trying to get her to talk, and. Uh, the producer goes, do you have any regrets? Right. Shocking moment. They they don't show her say anything. They cut it. And I'm like, that was a stick in it to you by the producers yeah. to Leia because they're like, you didn't use our card at the beginning of this, mm. which ruined potential drama for us. And now we've <laughs> ruined you by not giving you a one-on-one -on -one and making you she go went home from with a, that one. The sweetheart to the villain. I know. It was crazy. It was literally like, oh my God, she's the selfless, kind person that like is doing this amazing thing and not you. And then like two episodes later, it's just like, yeah. And you're like, she's the worst one here by a mile. And you're like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it was like, we saw like the, the producers, it's like, we're giving her like the after the final rose moments. And then we're giving yeah. her the special card. And and then after bye that, bye. it was like, oh, they were not pleased. You're not and so get then a they date. literally leave that nothing. moment in. Do you have any regrets? <laughs> She's like going against you. Yes. Yes. 100%. <laughs> yes, oh, my God. So that was wild. But um, next week, we have them going to Jasper, which looks insane. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. But we're seeing some shocking moments. We're seeing it looks like Daisy saying, am I there yet with you? No shocking maria being like i can't do this and joey starting to spiral and i'm like are we gonna lose multiple people and if we do this is jarring because like best bachelor we've had in so long like i would say most desired yes. by bachelor nation yes. if he's the one who like ends up losing all these people at the end that's jarring it is jarring that's jarring so what do you do if everyone leaves and then you're still there but then he didn't choose you do you, st do you stick it through or do you go hey it's like oh we're still you know what i'm saying like imagine if no, there was like four mean? people and three people left okay and then you left like you're a default winner <laughs> Do you stick to, you know what I mean? Like, how does that work? If you're the default winner, you never know if you actually got chosen. Yeah, that's a little stressful. Where, like, imagine if he, imagine if, like, uh, Maria went home, Daisy went home, and what was left was, like, Kelsey A, or no, Kelsey T and Kelsey A, let's say those two are left. Is there a level where you're, like, even if he chooses one of us, like, were we... Oh, were the we going to be You know what I'm saying? Choice? Like, were we the choice? That, that could play yeah, with your head. I don't know. I feel like ugh, it's hard because we're not there, but I'm like all like Kelsey T and Kelsey A both seem like to me that he has is really likes them. I'm just saying you would never know. You'd never know. If no, that would be leave, weird. You'd never truly know. No, that if would be they weird. Were the if you were like, that is that away. the person? Yeah, no, that probably would always be in the back of my head. Early on, it doesn't matter. But like kind of going forward from now, if someone leaves, it could be like that was his person. That was but the I'll one that he know. wanted to you be with. I mean? Yeah, no, that's true. Kinda that plays would, yeah, with your head. Well, just one other thing to make me insecure if I was on the show. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> that's for sure.
<laughs> well, family, that um, that is it. And please make sure to join us on Friday yes. as we go over the second half of episode five, six, seven, eight, and nine, I Ooh. believe, of Love is Blind. And you get angry Jess um, talking about all the things. She's pissed. She's pissed. Um, but we love you all. We love you. And uh, yeah, tune in Friday and then obviously next week for more Bachelor. And have a beautiful next day until we see you on Friday. Have a beautiful 48 hours. Amazing. Love you all. Bye. Bye. <laughs>